What's up guys? So today I'm going to talk about my perfect game. I've been thinking about this topic for a while now and I actually um, sent it as a request to Scottish Warrior 92 for him to do one and he did his already. I was just lagging with this but I really wanted to do this topic. I just think it's interesting how we all have uh, our own idea of what makes a great video game. Um, and of course you can't really I, and there are games that come really close to being perfect, but obviously you can't say that a video game is perfect because they always, at least right now where technology is, you can't get everything exactly perfect, no glitches, nothing. So there are a lot of video games out there that come really close, but always lack something. So I'm going to talk about what I think or what makes a perfect game for me what I love in a game um because there I do I'm really really picky when it comes to games and sometimes I wish I wasn't because there are so many games out there that I wish I could play that I know that I've heard are awesome games but I just because of my playing style style I just can't get into it and a lot of times it just bothers me that I have that type of uh mentality uh, when it comes to video games, because I, it, it just, I, w I really would like to be able to play every type of game. Like, I wish I could enjoy first person shooters just as much as a third person, but I don't, un unfortunately. Um, and it's just because of this, it, it's, it's just, I don't know, I feel awkward, I feel weird when I'm playing a first person shooter. I'm not very good, I feel like out of place. Um, so. It's hard for me to get really pumped and really excited and like, oh, I want to play this game again. Once I stop playing it, it's like I just put it aside and I go to a different game. That's, that kind of sucks. So here are some things that I look for in a game. When it comes to the general topic, the general area of the game, like the features, I guess you could call them, I tend to gear more towards RPGs. I actually like right now I'm craving to play a really good RPG I haven't played a really good RPG for a while now and it's just I feel like I need to um, but I, I gear more towards uh, modified RPGs like your modern day RPG that's not like classical hardcore RPG kinda like action RPGs I love those so like elements of RPG in there uh, but not as classic. When it comes to the genre, I, t I, I prefer sci-fi or fantasy. I love those two genres, so you give me a sci-fi or, or a fantasy uh, game or an RPG, oh, that, that's it. That, I'm like, oh, <gasps> I need it. And of course, when it comes to the point of view, third person. That's my style. And again, this is these are my preferences. I'm not like saying this is this is the type of game that is perfect for everybody. No, this is just if I if I could make my a game for me, this is what I would do. Now when it comes to the game itself, like the actual game, I look for a unique and captivating storyline. By unique I mean the concept is something that you haven't really heard of before. I hate coming in contact with games that are the exact replicas of other games, just set in a different time period or set in a different genre. Um, so I look for unique storylines where you're just like, oh, this is awesome. This is an awesome concept. And also uh, storylines that really move you in so many ways emotionally. I want a storyline that makes me cry. I want a storyline that makes me get pumped in action. I want to laugh. Like I want a storyline that has everything. But as much as I want a lot of emotional things in the storyline, I want it to stick to you know, uh, stick to one uh, throughout the whole game, but then have like bits and pieces, like let's say humor. Um, I, I prefer like a dramatic storyline where it's like more of a serious concept, but with like bits and pieces of humor in there still. Uh, so I, I like that. And then also like your, your emotional scenes where you're just like, oh my God, where's my tissues? Also, I want to have a team. When it comes to what I prefer, I prefer to do, uh, to play a game where I'm a part of a team and not, not like just by myself. I prefer to have companions following me and helping me out, like Mass Effect, like Dragon Age, where you have 
companions where you choose uh, three to two ki two people to follow you. And I, I just, I love that. That's one of my favorite things about video games, when you have companions. And not just have them following you. Like, followers? I don't like followers. I want companions. People that you could interact with and uh, learn about. And they have, like, a backstory and everything. And not just some idiot that's following you and, and just killing people for you. I don't, I don't like that. So I want people that you could interact with and form relationships with, whether it's romantic or just like friendships. I love that. And be able to, to, to you know, strike conversations with them and find out about them by talking to them and, and them having like a huge backstory or uh, making them uh, not just surface characters, but like deep characters. I want a real-time combat system. This is kind of what I was talking about, the classical RPG. Your classical RPG um, is more of that the turn-based system where kind of like Final, Final Fantasy where you're just like waiting and then the, 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 the bad guy um, attacks you and then you're just sitting there and take it and then it's your turn and the bad guy's just waiting. I hate that. I, 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 don't, I don't like that. Um, it bothers me. It's just like stupid. It's so unrealistic. And I apologize for those of you that, that really like that type of style. Uh, by all means, whatever, go ahead and play it. But I don't prefer it. If I were to choose, hell no. Like, no way. I want a real-time uh, combat system. Character customization. That's a huge thing for me. I want to be able to um, create my own character. I really enjoy being able to, to change the way that my character looks. And I, I take forever creating my character. And it's just because I, I love writing characters. I love to create characters. So to be able to actually see my character um, the way that I want the character to look is just awesome to me. So I would have that. The race of my character, I don't really care. I don't I don't care about that. Uh, I usually tend to go human when there's like um, different races like elf and dwarf and all that. I tend to go uh, human anyways so I really couldn't care less. But when it comes to like powers, your customization of your powers and abilities and all that, I want it to, I don't want it to get really complicated. I don't like when it, there's a lot of options because it just gets complicated down the road and it's just like, it's a lot. So I will, I like a simplified ability cu customization. When it comes to my character and conversations, I prefer, I would prefer if my character talked. Um, I, I do admit that when your character, when your main character in RPGs, when they don't talk, there are more conversation options because, you know, you, they don't have to worry about having to voice that, all those damn conversations. It would just take forever. So, um, I know that you have more options when your character doesn't talk, but I prefer to hear my character's voice. It just makes it more personal to me. I I I get a more of a connection with the character, and I just I don't know. I just like to hear the characters talk. It has to have now. This is one of my musts. It has to have a great soundtrack. A soundtrack really makes a game um, epic for me because if it's a great soundtrack, where it really where the the soundtrack just moves you in so many ways um, and just pumps you up when you're supposed to be pumped up and just makes freaking rips your heart out when when you you've got this like emotional scene the the music is just amazing um, in these it just makes the game so much more enjoyable and so much more memorable that that that's a huge thing for me is the soundtrack I really like when you're playing a game and you're mostly outside and for it to have really good graphics to make the scenery um, just breathtaking. And some games that just have great scenery, great backgrounds are uh, one of my favorites is Assassin's Creed. Oh my god. The background and the scenery, just the setting of that game is amazing. It's one of the reasons why I love the game. It's just it's it's a gorgeous game to look at. Another game is uh, Red Dead Redemption. Wow, 
the scenery oh my god that 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 is my type of scenery i love just that 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 desert look um and it just it's it's gorgeous another one that i've been seeing uh so far that hasn't been released is skyrim oh my god the backgrounds and the scenery looks amazing so that is a big thing that really attracts me to games when when you're when you're playing the game and you're just walking around and you see these things it's just like i guess this comes with a game being an rpg um for it to have multiple endings depending on what you do like you have so many uh choices um that's another thing that i want i want i want to be able to do, to have choices in a game um, and not not so much geared. This is this is another thing that I don't that that I like, but I don't want exactly like um, the choices. I want to have choices, but I don't want them to have like a rating system where it's like if you choose this, you're gonna be you're gonna get so much good points or you're gonna get so many bad points. I don't really like that. I just want to be able to have choices and not have to be like thinking about the points or thinking about oh I'm gonna play this as a good guy or something like that you know just freaking play it however you want to play it and if you're gonna do a, if you're gonna choose a good dis a, a good deed then go for it but if you choose a bad thing you shouldn't be like you know you, you shouldn't freaking get bad points and then you're like oh man uh, and then especially when it manifests that I don't like when they do that even in Mass Effect 2 um, where if you chose like the, the, the renegade options, you started to look like the freaking devil. I, I don't like that. I mean, even if you could, you could get that taken off by the upgrade, uh, with Dr. Chakwes, but it's still stupid. Like you still have to get, I, I just don't like that. I, I prefer to have the choices, but not have them, uh, not have them manifest as being good or evil. So the multiple endings just makes uh, a game um, more like the playability high, like higher. So you would go back and play the game again and almost have a, uh, like a like a different experience every time that you play it. I like that. This is a huge thing for me. Put time and effort in the voice acting. Oh my god, there are some games that could have been really really good, but the voice acting sucks. Like, you could totally tell they're reading a script. Or it's some idiot that doesn't, that sounds like a freaking robot or something. It's, or the, or the voice doesn't fit the character. It's, I hate that. It's stupid to me. So I don't, I don't know why video games don't have it like a requirement to, to freaking invest in their voice actors more than, 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 than they do. Of course, there are a lot of video games that uh, have great voice acting and 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 they stand out. Um, I mean, even video games where they use like big names, like Fable Three, they had so many big names in that game and they did such a great job. Um, and I'm not saying like to increase their popularity. No, I'm just saying that these people, the big names, they have experience. They, they know how to do this stuff. Even if they've never done a freaking video game, they still know how to, how to act. It's almost the same thing. Um, so, so freaking invest in that, man. I hate, I hate having to listen to some freaking idiot going, Hi, uh, my name is, oh my god, it's so stupid. It's like, oh my god, I don't even want to play this game anymore. And this also goes for, um, the cinematics, oh my god. Com conversation cinematics? I hate when there's there's a cinematic and they're talking and they do these stupid, like, these stupid things. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna talk trash about Deus Ex Human Revolution just for a little second. The game is really good. I haven't beat it, but I like it. But one thing that I can't stand is when you're talking, when you're talking to someone, they do all these stupid things. Like they're talking and let's say you're talking, right? And you're just like, so the little boy, he got lost and 
he he went over there and then he went that way and they just don't know where he is and I don't know what's going on because I just keep doing this whole thing like I'm a freaking robot that oh that made me so mad they just kept on doing the same damn thing and I was just like it got annoying and I mean yeah you're just like well Mass Effect does it too no, Deus Ex did it to, like, the max. Mass Effect does it every now and then, but it's not like... It wasn't like this. It was it was less. It was a little bit less. And it kind of made sense sometimes, like, where Shepard would be like... Um, if he was kind of pissed off, he'd go... Right? And then... But in, in, in Deus Ex, it was like... He, he could... It doesn't matter what they were saying. Like, he could be saying... Oh my god, I love ice cream, it's so good. Or, I'm gonna blow your head off. Or, I'm so sad. It's the same thing, and I was like, oh, it was annoying. So that's another thing that just, it, uh, it just ruins games. For, it, it just kind of, it just makes a game kind of frustrating for me when I see that. Where it's just like, they could have invested more time in that. So those are pretty much uh, some of the things that I look for uh, in a video game. That's what I would, um, just having these things in a video game would really make my freaking day. I would like die to get this game. This is just my perfect version of a video game. Um, there's probably a few more things that I'm not thinking of, but these are the main things that, uh, that just, that would make a great game. For me. I mean, if you want to do a video response to this, go for it. I would love to hear what you guys have to say because I'm pretty sure we all have a different conception of what would make a perfect game. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed that and I'll talk to you guys later.